Hello, my name is James Manuelli. I'm a guitarist and instructor here at Clark College in Vancouver, Washington, and I'm here to discuss classical guitar exercises. I'd like to address the right hand and speak a little bit about the free stroke and wrist stroke exercises with open strings, like any classical guitarist who is beginning the classical guitar we need to address both strokes. We usually play most of the time with free stroke. So a good way to practice the free stroke on the right hand exercise is to take one string at a time and to alternate the index and the middle finger on each string. I'm going to start with the index on the first string of the guitar and strike it openly in the palm of my hand. Then right when I strike the index, the middle finger will take its place and strike the same string again. So I have two strikes on one string, index and middle. As I continue up the strings, I'll approach the B string, strike it twice. Practicing my free stroke. Notice by the time I get to the sixth string, my thumb is usually always behind my fingers, resting on one of the adjacent strings, giving myself a little leverage. I'm usually at a 40 or 45 degree angle, and I'm slicing the string on that angle, using a combination of some nail and flesh. Giving a little bit of pressure on the string, I'm not pushing down on the string, I'm giving a little pressure and releasing it. Having a great follow through, I should have a follow through on the first joint here into the palm of my hand. Now, when we address rest stroke, rest stroke is a little bit of a different approach. We strike the string, resting the string on the adjacent string. If I strike the first string, my finger, my index finger, will rest on the adjacent string, needing my hand to go up a little bit, but not much, to elongate my finger for the rest stroke. Now, after I strike this, this first string, again, my middle finger will take its place and strike it again. Notice my hand needs to go up a little bit to elongate my finger to make it a rest stroke. The rest stroke is very commonly used in both flamenco and classical guitar. It's a very powerful stroke to use. After you practice the index and middle, you can alternate with different fingerings using um, another combination of fingerings, maybe the I and the A, or the M and the A, and giving yourself a different tone and feel using the other strings of the guitar. The other exercise we can do for the left hand that most classical players who are just starting out would need to work on um, is slur studies. Slur studies is a, a, a very, are a very good technique to learn. It uh, builds up dexterity in the left hand and uh, for many passages and pieces they will have slurs written in. A very typical study or exercise we can do is um, in first position and striking the first string, pressing on the first string, first fret with your first finger, and hammering it down with your second finger. Then continuing the process with the second to third finger. Repeating the exercise. 
change it and go into the second string, doing the same thing. So what this will do with practicing either our open string arpeggios or uh, alternating uh, fingerings to practice the rest stroke or free stroke or slur studies will help you keep your technique um, up to par and good warm up before accomplishing your pieces.